Well, welcome to our Thought for the Day for Saturday the 14th of August. Uh, my name is Graham Hoslett. I wonder, how, I wonder how high you can look, how far you can see. A website called Healthline says this, it says, taking into account the many factors that affect eyesight, as well as other considerations, the human eye can actually see pretty far. It says, the phrase visual acuity refers to the clarity of your vision. Experts consider normal or healthy visual acuity to be 20-20 vision. That simply means that you can clearly see something 20 feet away that you should be able to see from that distance. If you have 20-20 vision, well at 20 feet, you can clearly see something that someone with normal sight can clearly see at 20 feet. That's what 2020 vision means. If on the other hand you have 2100 vision, uh, that means that you have very bad sight. That means you would still be able to see an object clearly from 20 feet away, but an object that someone with normal vision could see clearly from 100 feet away. Conversely, if you have 2010 vision, that means that your sight is very good. That means you can see something clearly at 20 feet that most people need to be no more than 10 feet from to see clearly. I wonder if you have 2020 vision, normal vision, or I wonder if you have 2010 vision, a really, really good vision. Of course, looking up at the stars, you can see things a lot further away than 20 feet or 100 feet. The nearest stars to Earth are Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B, a binary star system that is 4.3 light years away from Earth. That means the stars are so far away that it's taken a little over four years for the light to get here from there. And of course, scientists would say that with the speed of light being constant, the further out we look into space, the further back in time we are seeing. If it's taken four years for the light to get from Alpha Centauri to here, well then, looking at those stars, we aren't seeing them as they now are, but as they were four years ago. And that means that there really is a limit to how far anyone, even with the best vision or the most powerful telescopes, can see. Scientists say that the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old. And what that means is that however good your sight might be, however powerful your telescope is, the highest you can look and the farthest you can see, according to science, is 13.8 billion light years, no matter in which direction you look. Because more than 13.8 billion light years away, um, well, you can't look any further than that because you're looking beyond to what is. But in Psalm 123, our psalm for today, we read that the psalmist is again looking, lifting his eyes up. A couple of days ago, Helen led us in thinking about Psalm 121, the Song of Ascents, where the psalmist writes, I lift up my eyes to the hills, where does my help come from? With the answer, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Well, two psalms on in Psalm 123, he is again lifting his eyes up. Only this time, not lifting his eyes up just to the hills or the mountains or the clouds, the skies, the stars, the galaxies, the heavens, not even lifting his eyes up to the highest heaven. He's lifting his eyes higher still. I lift up my eyes to you, to you whose throne is in heaven. In Psalm 123, he says he lifts his eyes up to the one who is above all things, beyond all things. 
I lift up my eyes to you, to you whose throne is in heaven, as the eyes of slaves look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a female slave look to the, to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God till he shows us his mercy. It's not clear what trouble the psalmist or the pilgrim might be in or have been in. It's not clear what they might need the Lord whose throne is in heaven to show them his mercy for. Verses three and four suggest it's because those who worship the Lord are being looked down on, ridiculed, scorned, treated with contempt because of their devotion. It hurts when those we love or even those we don't like around us ridicule or poor, poor contempt on what really matters to us, on those around us. It hurts when on those around us can't or won't see what we see. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy on us, for we have endured no end of contempt. We have endured no end of ridicule from the arrogant, of contempt for, from the proud. But in answer to not just his trouble, but their trouble, the psalmist lifts his eyes up, not just to the hills, but higher still as the eyes of slaves look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a female slave look to the hand of a mistress. So our eyes look to the Lord our God till he shows us his mercy. I wonder how, I wonder how high you can look. I wonder how far you can see. In Colossians 3 verses 1 to 4, Paul wrote, Since then you have, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God, of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. In Hebrews 12, verses 2 and 3, the writer says, Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. That let us fix our eyes on Jesus. That let us fix. It's a verb that only appears twice in the New Testament. To fix your eyes literally means to look away from all else at. Look away from all else at Jesus. How important it is that we are able to lift our eyes up to the one who was there at the beginning, is waiting there at the end, and is with us in the middle of all of it. I lift up my eyes to you, to you whose throne is in heaven. How high can you look? How far can you see? Well, Psalm 123 reminds us, we can see beyond the heavens to the one whose throne is in heaven. Whether you have 2020 vision 2010 vision or 2100 vision, you can still fix your eyes on Jesus. Show us your mercy, Lord Jesus, even us, even today, Friday the 14th of August 2020, as we fix our eyes on you.